Hi, my name is Ida. I'm 24 and a student in Denmark, and I make videos. Back in the spring, I was invited to join a contest for bloggers to go to Slovakia, Georgia, and Armenia. I applied for Slovakia because it fit my academic schedule with the dates. And they chose me along with nine other people to go to the Slovak Paradise National Park for 10 days this summer, promoting the area and its natural and cultural heritage. This is the first video in a series of three. Here's a little sneak peek of what's to come. I find that there's always so much work in preparing my apartment for being empty for weeks. Um, that's where I start this video. Stuff like eating all the weird perishable foods so that nothing goes bad, watering all the plants, cleaning, and lying awake at night at the thought of traveling alone. The actual plane ride was only an hour and a half, but I had a train to get to the airport of four hours, and then after arriving in Poland, I had a night in Krakow at a hostel before taking the bus the next day to Poprad. I also ate something bad and threw up at the hostel just to make everything more stressful. I don't really like airports. I think going through security is quite stressful. If you followed me, you might have heard me talk about my incessant stress streams about airports and uh, having to board a flight and not having my passport. This is a dream I've had continuously over three years, uh, now whenever I'm stressed out. But I made it. I ate some soup in the heat and then I had to rush because my gate was at the absolute furthest end of the airport, which was like on ground level. I've never been there before. There's no door in this elevator. 
and someone definitely peed in here. Third floor. Fourth. Love those sounds, guys. Great. Fifth. All right. This elevator is scary. It's seven o'clock. I woke up at six. Got a solid six hours of sleep. Woke up with a headache and feeling really bad. So I googled supermarkets and I walked over to one and I bought painkillers and these guys and two bananas. And there were still people out who were drunk. I haven't slept. I felt a certain solidarity with them, I will say. But I had considered getting up early to see this in the town. This was not what I meant. Last ride on this elevator. I'm catching the bus. And I don't have enough food for that trip, so I'm gonna try to buy something first. Which is great. I'm great. I want to eat this, and I'm feeling good. I made it to my bus with five minutes to spare before it left. It was quite stressful. I didn't find the pedestrian system of Krakow easy to navigate. I felt like I had bought food for a fussy kid who was a picky eater, but it was what I had time to find and I decided these items were safe based on my stomach issues from the night before. <laughs> It was a four hour bus ride with many slow parts, waiting in line for many times. Um, but the view was great, and I enjoyed the cool air and that special meditative state of transportation where no productivity is required because you're already achieving something just by sitting there passively getting to a place. I love that so much. I was really interested to see the architecture change when we moved from Poland into Slovakia and generally the mountains just really impressed me. I come from the very flat Denmark. I wrote a little text about it when we arrived. Uh, I put it in the video. You might have to pause to read it though. Okay, so after all of that, it was time to get to the group of people I would spend the next 10 days with. It was warm and I was travel weary, I was surrounded by strangers, um, but I saw some of the area with Tomas, Linda and Noro.
After that, my first task was to pick some flowers for a dinner table. Svetlana's garden was full of wonderful plants and flowers and cats. I have written a kind of accompanying blog post about the trip. The link is in the description if you're curious to read some more about my experience. I am not going to be able to include everything. This is a very short version of quite a long trip. Noro is doing a drone shot. It's so cool. You're just on the ground. That's all I can offer. For the first day with an actual program, we started the day off with two church services in the town of Vernar, as it's a very orthodox area and that's a big part of their culture. They sang quite beautifully and incense and beeswax candles were burning. I quite enjoyed it. The atmosphere was nice. Then we were shown the making of traditional pierogies. I think you get the atmosphere of like 10 photographers slash bloggers in the same room in this clip and that was kind of the behind the scenes premise of everything. We were always getting in each other's shot. Well, we'll see. Oh, very 
delicious lot of dishes prepared. Don't fear on it. Sit on the hill, on the slope. We were also shown some of the traditional textile work of a few generations of the same family of the town. Um, women would weave and embroider specific patterns with linen and wool as their primary fibers. I thought this was quite interesting to see. Then we took a group picture and headed towards the meadows, walking through a beautiful forest with a stream that we were all drawn to to cool down in. We also passed the freshwater spring, which Daniel showed me. Hi, so good. Nice and cold. I wish I could fill a bottle. That's really nice. You don't have? No, I. Then we arrived at the meadows to see examples of how they were traditionally mowed by hand, by scythe. This demonstration was done by a group of people involved in preserving the local folklore and traditional dress, so they were dressed to the nines. They also demonstrated traditional multi-voiced throat singing for us, which is a UNESCO-protected intangible heritage of this place. They also showed some whip cracking which echoed through the area and I accidentally cut this footage so that Michal magically disappears. I found that very funny. It wasn't on purpose. And the women came with lunch and raked the hay which would traditionally be used for cattle in the winter time. <laughs>
it's almost time to head back for me. We're going to dinner soon. And I wish I could just sit and listen for hours and just look at all the shadows and little insects and all the flowers. It's so nice here. It's nice to be alone. <laughs> and we just spent eight hours together, so. But I'm gonna refill my water bottle from the spring and head back. <laughs> We were then shown some more traditional song and dance tied to wedding traditions and I went to bed full of impressions that day. Remember to watch the other two parts of the series, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.